Hi, I'm Tim and this is my review for Titanfall 2. If you don't know, the Titanfall 2 is a second installment in the Titanfall series. Uh, the first part was kind of lacking to say the least. It had no campaign, it was multiplayer only and releasing paid DLC um, which contained maps and new titans basically split the community and game died out quite fast. Um, the Titanfall 2 on the other hand is basically everything that Titanfall should have been. It has campaign, it won't have any paid DLCs, it has more multiplayer modes, more titans, more loadouts, basically more everything. And it's in general a pretty amazing game. It took me about 6 hours to finish the campaign which is, uh, I mean, quite short but, you know, the, considering the well paced um, gameplay I think it pretty much worth it and so far I played about three hours of multiplayer so uh, here we go let me give you my impressions of it so uh, let's start with the pros let's get the boring pros out of the way so the graphics are really good the game is very well optimized the um, audio quality is very high and voice acting is also pretty solid so there's you know nothing wrong on the technical level or the production level basically um, the next good thing about this game is gameplay mechanics. Moving and shooting feels quite amazing. You know, if you played the first one, you will know that all the wall jumps, wall runs, and uh, stuff like this just is just crazy good. It it is so polished that I I don't think I've ever seen any other game get close to the quality of Titanfall movement. Um, there is a Call of Duty. Um, What's the Infinite Warfare, right? The new one. And um, I played it, I tried it a bit, and it feels like a slog compared to Titanfall 2. They don't even get close to the velocity you can achieve in Titanfall. And with the addition of the grappling hook here, you can do even more crazier stuff like, you know, um, kick people in the face while grapple towards them around the corner, which is just insane. Like, go and look up the videos. There's some people doing some crazy stuff in the multiplayer. Okay, the next major part here is amazing campaign. Uh, it's very well paced. It has a lot of like very various missions. Obviously, it has like jump puzzles, which work very well with the um, Titanfall mechanics. Um, there is a good mix of uh, on foot and in Titan combat, so you you get to do both. And uh, you know sometimes you just like have to crawl through spaces where your titan can and he will, will automatically look for the way around and uh, other times you have to get inside your titan and actually kill other titans which feels really great and the pace overall is very cool. Maps are well designed and have uh, almost always have multiple paths to get to the end and you know how you actually tackle the enemies in front of you so there's n almost never just like you know a straight corridor which feels really great actually again combined with this sort of uh, very rapid movement system it always is awesome um there are i think six or five bosses in the game and all of them are very different and you have to like figure out you know how to attack them uh, i played on hard and it actually took me quite some time to uh, defeat all of them and to figure out how you approach them i don't think i killed any one of them for from the first try because i got basically mowed down by their ultimate abilities or something like this um, and that's not all. There is actually some surprising elements to the campaign like, uh, for example, the platform puzzles with chain gun which activates or deactivates some elements like the crazy wind turbines that throw you through the half of the level. And there is as well time travel mechanics which um, come in like in the storyline and you know they all make sense but it is very um, interesting how it mixes up the gameplay and they actually the coolest part they actually added this time travel mechanic into the multiplayer and it works really well. You do have to work a bit to unlock it but it definitely worth it. Uh, and there is as well stuff like um, battles of armies of titans versus armies of titans when you storm the um, um, enemy's headquarters, basically. Um, I would say that this is probably second place after the new Doom for me for the game of the year campaign. It's like, I mean, it's short, sure, but it's so well made and so well paced that uh, it's just amazing. I think I will probably replay it a few more times just because it's so great. All right, the next good thing about the game is the multiplayer. It is very close to campaign uh, velocity-wise, you know, and the f sort of feelings it gives you when you run around and kill stuff. Um, the artificial intelligence or AI companions or grunts and, you know, other uh, enemies give you that feeling that you're always killing something that is the same basically as in Titanfall 1 and it 
really, it is really great, especially for people who kind of suck at uh, first person shooters like me. Even, you know, if I rarely kill pilots, I can always go around and kill AI companions because they are easier to kill and that still gives me this feeling that I am kind of helping. <laughs> so that's always great. Um, they've added new AI mini titans that are kind of more dangerous than uh, normal AIs and uh, you cannot really tackle them on foot. I mean, you can tackle them on foot, but it's like way more problems. So you generally want to have your titan on them. Um, and uh, yeah, there's like tons of stuff to unlock, new guns, new Titan loadouts, new uh, gun attachments and some cosmetics as well. There's actually a lot of customization this time around. The cool thing is that they actually provided a way to circumvent this unlocking using the credits that you earn while playing the game. So normally you unlock stuff once you level up. Uh, leveling is actually quite quick in this game, so you don't have to wait too long. But if you want something uh, right now, you can spend your credits that you earn during the match to actually unlock it right away. And there's, again, as I said, there's not gonna be any paid DLC with maps and Titans or anything. Everything is available right now and everything will be free, which is, in my opinion, amazing and definitely deserves support from everyone. All right, um, that's it about uh, positive sides. Let's talk about negative sides. Uh, the first one, which is not really, you know, a major con, but it's basically a gripe for me, I would say. I want, I crave basically for a campaign that is longer than six hours because it was amazing experience. And like, you know, I want to have um, double of this and um, or even more and, you know, not just stretched out and having the same stuff as, for example, again, in the newest Call of Duty series but more of that really well-paced, really balanced campaign because it was amazing. I think they should do um, Titanfall 3 or whatever they want to call it and do the campaign longer because it was really cool experience. And, you know, I want more of that. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not a multiplayer guy and I want more of the campaign stuff. All right, the next gripe is uh, that there is still no customizable Titan loadouts in multiplayer and, well, in single player as well. You only have Titan presets. Uh, it was addressed by the developers that they tested it internally with uh, Titan uh, loadouts and the problem was that basically people found this like cookie cutter loadout that was fitting most of the situations and everyone was just using that and nobody was switching, which is kind of disappointing, I guess. So this is their way of balancing Titans out because, you know, you have to uh, have a variety on the field, which kind of makes sense, but still... I think maybe some customization, some middle ground there could be found. Uh, maybe next part we'll do that. All right, the next problem is uh, the fact that some multiplayer unlocks feel quite loose, useless, especially those like badges and uh, Titan customizations. Like, again, I'm not the guy to customize my stuff too much, so I'm like, yeah, okay, I unlocked. So I don't really, you know, when I get a level and all unlocks I get are cosmetic, I don't really feel like I, I achieved anything, so it will be a bit... Uh, better to actually uh, unlock something useful every level, but you know, it's not a, not a major gripe definitely. Uh, the next problem I have with it is the matchmaking. It can be a bit iffy, maybe because there is not that many people playing. I mean, um, I basically almost always had like around 10,000 people in my region playing, which is a good number for a multiplayer game. But the matchmaking itself seems to be a bit strange because uh, from time to time I got matched with people who was like level 50 or higher when I was like level 5. And you can imagine, you know, this game has unlocks, so they have a lot more cool stuff than I do and they can do a lot more than I actually do because they played more and, you know, that's a bit iffy, as I said. All right, um, those are the major cons and then I have like two small personal gripes. Once again, as I said, the unlocks are kind of boring, so it's like, yeah, you can unlock a bit new guns, you can unlock a bit new, new Titan loadouts, but they are, there's nothing like really cool. They've removed the booster card system and replaced it with, uh, or burn cards and replaced this with like boosts, but which is again a bit boring, so burn cards I think were way more interesting. But yeah, it's like uh, a bit, maybe they will tweak it with DLCs, I don't know. So let's see how that goes. And the um, last personal gripe that I have is actually time to kill. I think it's a bit too short, so I'm not used to playing games that kill you almost instantly. I'm more of a guy who likes stuff, you know, like Overwatch or, um, I don't know, Division, for example, where you can take a few bullets before you are actually dead. Because here, if you like take a couple of shots in your body, you are basically dead from just about any distance. 
I'm fine with um, headshots killing you from one shot, but then I would like to, you know, it's a future, they should have some good armor, so I want to be alive more than a couple of seconds, especially if I uh, respawn and then run in the middle of the level and then get shot by some guy uh, that is just like running around the corner just because I wasn't quick enough to react to him. I know that's my own fault, but that's just like, again, as I said, my personal gripe, so nothing uh, too major here. If you are used to this kind of multiplayer combat like in Call of Duty or just about any other uh, I think modern military shooter then you will be absolutely fine here um, yeah that's about it I'm, I mean I'm really actually enjoying the Titanfall 2 so far and uh, if you were like I think again as I said this is probably my uh, multiplayer FPS of the year after Overwatch which is not really a multiplayer FPS but more like a team shooter um, and uh, if you like games like this, I definitely recommend taking a look at the Titanfall 2 because it is really great. And again, no DLCs. Hey, you know, that's always a practice that you should support because this is a good practice. Yeah, so that's about all I have to say. Uh, thank you for watching and as always, see you next time.